People ask about how long will their facelift last? Again, a difficult question to answer because we all age at different rates, depending on your lifestyle, how much sun exposure, how much stress, exercise, your diet. These are all things that are going to contribute to either slowing or accelerating aging. In general, we tell patients that a facelift will last them 7 to 12 years. If one is doing a mini facelift with skin only, the likelihood is that's going to last more like 3 to 5 years. If somebody's doing a very extensive deep neck contouring, for instance, where we actually have to remove muscle and gland to give them a neck they never have had, that's going to last for a lifetime even though there will be some recurrent laxity. The contour of the neck is not going to change again with aging because we've actually corrected an abnormal contour. In general, we can expect 7 to 12 years. Now, we have a very subjective aspect to this, but from a scientific point of view, generally we see facelifts persist around 10 years. People ask, is everything going to just go back to the way it was? No, it's not going to go back to the way it was because you've reset certain things. Your skin laxity is not going to recur to the same extent because the scar that forms between the layers is going to functionally hold that skin and prevent some of the shear forces. Most people are going to find that gradually over time, as they lose facial volume, as they accumulate sun damage, and as they begin to develop laxity again, that some of the wonderful appearance changes that occurred with the facelift are going to gradually go away. Now, we can prolong that with proper maintenance. I'm a big fan of regenerative approaches like platelet-rich plasma, certain types of techniques, exosomes, ongoing laser care. Just like guys take care of their cars and some women take care of their cars with car detailing three or four times a year, washing every week, it's the same for the face. If we take care of it, it's going to last longer, it's going to look better. What about redoing a facelift? Well, this is a very common procedure. In fact, just in the last two weeks, I've redone three or four. The thing is that you have to evaluate now what the new changes have been, and you have to adapt your techniques to those changes. For instance, in some patients, the underlying tissue is thinned out, and it may not be amendable to doing a deep plane facelift because, you know, the number one consideration is safety. However, in most patients, we're able to very simply perform a redo facelift lift and to address all areas that need to be addressed. There's not an increased complication risk. If anything, patients oftentimes will heal faster. But remember, 10 years have passed, you're a little older, there may be medical issues that have cropped up, you may not have the energy and the same strength that you had before. All these things play a role in addition to the technical aspects of your surgery.